Around the world, LTE traffic is growing exponentially, providing a common challenge for operators in every region and in every market. How to manage the traffic while at the same time providing an excellent user experience. Here to discuss those challenges with us today is Gonzalo Bayas, the CTO of Entel in Peru. And Gonzalo, uh, Entel has recently deployed the first 4T6S LTE network in Latin America. How did the process work? How was the deployment? What were the challenges that you faced? Yes, as you told before, uh, the service traffic in Peru is growing very fast. And we have a lot of uh, hot spots and uh, we talked with the Huawei two years ago and how we solved this problem in AWS band. And uh, we found that the, the solution of 46 x was very good. First, uh, because this 40 for our solution that increased the capacity of, of, of screens of our uh, subscribers. And then the, the six sector working together in sites uh, increase the capacity very, 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 very high. And that was the solution that we found, and uh, the, the result was, was very good that, till now. One of the things that uh, is common to the user experience with LTE is the more people use it, the, the, more, the more the traffic grows. Uh, at some point, the system needs to be upgraded. What are your plans when you face that challenge to upgrade the, the LTE system? In, in the DNA of Intel is the quality of service that we give us to our subscribers. And in, in that topic, we, the idea to, to expand the, the experience that we had with 46X in the AWS band is we are exploring the PCS band, the 1900 band. And to, to use this experience also in 46X in that band and combining with the lower band than for example, uh, 700, and to give uh, more capacity in uh, just in one antenna. That is that we are working on, and this is the path that we are thinking in the future to, to grow in uh, LTE. Speaking of future growth, obviously one of the topics that we're discussing here is 5G. What do you see as the, the possible rollout of 5G and the, and the scenarios and the strategy that you have around future deployment of the 5G system? For sure, we are working on strategy on the 5G. We think that the, the middle band that's in 3.5 for example is an opportunity that we have in order to deploy the, the 5G at the beginning. Of course at the future we will explore the millimeter wave but at the beginning we will start in 3.5. Gonzalo Bea, CTO of uh, Intel in Peru. Thank you very much for joining us.